initially my family they didn't accept so there are lot of struggles nobody supported initially i'm actually a single parent child there is a lots of marketing which i have done individually for making this as a brand if someone asks for mehdi immediately they they will remember there is a riya mehdi artist from chet and they even we are including faces on the mehdi like a pro portrait one Were there any hurdles or taboos you had to overcome? Who was your biggest supporter throughout all this? Hi guys, I'm your Ria, Mehdi Artist from Chennai. I'm so happy to be a part of this great team. Uh, thank you so much for this uh, great opportunity. I uh, thank Dakshan sir and WP team for giving me this great honor uh, as a Mehdi Artist of the Year 2023 from the great team WP. It took lot of years to create a Ria Mehdi as a brand, and I have created this Ria Mehdi from the beginning to uh, this much level. This is where I am here today, and this Ria Mehdi made me to be the part of uh, WB event, and I won the best Mehdi artist of the year. This says that how branding I have worked for my uh, Mehdi art, and how dedicated I am, and how passionate about my Mehdi. Uh, when I was started in the year 2011, it was like nothing. Like there are so many Mehdi artists. I was doing my college first year, so I want to bring myself in the front. I want to know that that time I have. Uh, I was doing only in the Chennai. I want to push myself that I am the Mehdi artist. So if anybody wants Mehdi, they immediately they have to remember Ria Mehdi for the great event. So I I work myself as a hard worker and then uh, totally into passionate. And I was doing lots of activity like uh, there is a lots of marketing which I have done individually for making this as a brand. Like I did uh, marketing and social medias and uh, exhibition everything. I was being a part of a, such a great exhibition and I pushed hard myself to show this as a brand. That is Ria Mehdi. So Ria Mehdi is a brand today. So this is what this this many years it uh, happened for me to create this brand as a Ria Mehdi. If someone asks for Mehdi immediately, they they will remember there is a Ria Mehdi artist from Chennai. So that is the branding I have created for my own uh, Ria Mehdi. Can you talk about the importance of having a strong personal brand and how you've developed your own brand of Ria's Mehdi? Seriously, it was a great pleasure to be in a part of uh, the grand event one on one wedding. I am so happy that I am one of the supporter from YouTuber. Uh, the one at one wedding is really a remarkable one. Actually, it was a great pleasure and honor that the uh, WB team invited me for this one at one uh, great global cause. So from 2011, I was doing my I was started my college first year. And when I see my family that I am going to start Ria Mehdi as a brand. And uh, I'm going to become a Mehdi artist. I'm an actually engineer, so this is my passion, Ria Mehdi. Initially, nobody accepted uh, because I, they don't want me to go out doing such a things in different family because I have to directly go to the client place and I have to do the Mehdi for them. So initially, my family they didn't accept. They want me to come at 6 p.m. at home, so they don't even claim me for 7 p.m. at home. I I used to get order up to 10 p.m. but I don't get uh, that much support when when I was starting this. Uh, a uh, feel but then my mom is the only support uh, till now she is the only person who used to come with me by doing mehdi she used to sit outside and i used to do mehdi for the brides so there are lot of struggles nobody supported initially i want to do something i want to do something for the society either i have to do it for free mehdi or like classes everything i want to do something and i want to showcase this uh, mehdi as a ria mehdi to everyone But then that time I was a single person who was struggling. I'm actually a single parent child. My mom is a only supporter. My mom is everything for me. But uh, she is the only lady who supported me through the journey, and still she is supporting me. Uh, and that's why I have won this great award. Post COVID, did you have to pivot your business strategy, and how you navigated that change? Uh, during COVID time, we all uh, faced a lot of problem uh, to overcome this uh, COVID. Uh, but that time uh, for mehndi artist it was like a great drawback actually because uh, there, there was a lot of wedding happening but nobody used to uh, like mehndi they didn't consider as one of the important for the wedding so 
Mehendi artists suffered a lot because we don't even get any orders during COVID. We, we, we can't go outside at all. So that time it was like a total struggle for me. And then the COVID period, we, uh, we are struggling to show that Mehendi artists are there. So then, but then we have started doing like online classes and offline classes for Mehendi. So that made me to sustain for COVID period. And then when I post COVID, I made myself as a trainer. And I have started doing all online classes, offline classes for all the students. I was doing like a training academy, but then it, it slowly made me to be here. What are the different aspects that one has to look into for adding a commercial angle to this creative craft? Initially, the Mehende was like a normal thing. Only we, we, we used to have Mehende as a circle one and some big caps in our fingers. But now this, had, uh, this art made as a creative one. Seriously, there is a lot of concept we brought into Mehendi. Uh, in olden days, it was not like that, but now whatever concept like uh, groom and bride is saying, that one is like we are doing in the hands of bride and groom as well. Their love story and their concepts like bride and groom. And like, even we are including phases of the Mehendi, like a pro portrait one. So there are a lot of initiative we have, we, are, we artists brought them out. And then today we are doing like an uh, extraordinary thing in Mehendi. All the concepts are, uh, came into the Mehendi part and it, it, was, it became one of the uh, important thing in wedding now. This time around the WV Awards was tabulated by EY with a stringent and elaborate process. How would you describe your experience and what contributed to your win? WV Award, like Mehendi Artist of the Year, Year Award is the biggest dream for me because uh, even last time I had nominated uh, myself and I was uh, uh, struggling hard to prove myself I am the best Mehendi Artist but last time I couldn't make, made it. Still I was continuously working, working, working and I, today I proved myself as the best Mehendi Artist of the Year. How do you plan to leverage the recognition from this award to further your work and make an even greater impact? So I wish to give the training the people who are in the rural areas. I want to bring all the girls to give uh, Ria Mehendi training and I want to become them as a Mehendi artist of the year award from WB team. Uh, I'll definitely work on it uh, with WB team to bring uh, to support all the girls who are undergraduate. So definitely I'll work on it. Once again thank you so much WB team for this great award. Thank you. Bye bye.